hello. So to recap, part one was basically figuring out placement and putting the basic framework together. I pulled it out more. But part steps, you know, that was steps one and two. Steps three and four, basically getting the footer set and figuring out my perimeter for large predator barriers. So I've been kind of busy. I decided it was on the plans anyways to put down this fabric and fill this with rocks so we didn't have to mow under here anymore. And I got that started. And I needed to fix my fence. So I got this part fixed. And I got this part blocked off. I started fixing this part. I got it reattached to the board how it used to be before Miss Olive tore it up. But as you can see, the fence doesn't go all the way to the ground. And that was on purpose when we did it because our dogs don't mess with the fence. But now, because the staples that are attaching it aren't that secure I'm thinking I'm going to do what I did over here over there and this is 11 foot I do have one board left that's 12 foot that'll work but it's not painted so I'm gonna have to cut it and paint it and I don't have any more of this size bricks which is perfect for fitting in here so I'm going to have to go buy more of them. And I'll have to take this board back off and cut it down a little bit. So I got quite a bit of work left for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the cinder blocks. But I'm thinking I might just do the same thing. Why not make it consistent all the way across? I got started on moving the rocks. This is only two crates full of rocks. So I'm probably going to need four more to fill this space. So that was a task by itself, moving the rocks. Now this looks kind of weird here, but I have a plan. I moved all my stuff down and cleaned up this area and measured and my doghouse is just the right dimension to fit under there. So my plan is, I have this like moving blanket. I'm gonna staple that to the crate and then their little lawn chair mattress thing can go in there. And hopefully with one, it's covered because it's in the doghouse. The thing isn't doesn't really get that wet, but it'll be under the stairs. So it'll have a second layer of rain you know, protection so I'm hoping if I put the doghouse under there with the opening on this side then they have this much room to get in there because I know once I move the chickens outside they're going to want to sit outside and watch them so I still have quite a bit of work just on step three filling this in fix well, step three and four. Fill in this in. Fixing the fence on this side. My dogs must see somebody, so that's why they're barking. Now down here, I have it pulled back. This side, I wanted to put these pavers because my thinking is, instead of putting hardware cloth on the ground, over here, especially if something's going to want to dig in, they're either going to have to dig through the rocks and dig under this six inch paver 
or dig, I mean, they can't dig through the paver. So the paver is going to stop them from being able to come under here. And then with the weed fabric, we won't have to worry about weeding over here. Now, obviously my bricks don't exactly fit the whole way, so I'm going to have to modify that. But I'm also thinking I have the heavy-duty landscape staples to go in here and that's going to help anchor it down but I'm also going to put the footer underneath the paver that's why I got this brick under there because I had to pull it up so that way it'll just go back under it so if I put the staples in and put the paver over it it'll have some weight on it and then that'll help weigh it down as far as along the line of pavers we put the pavers here just so when we'd mow the weeds wouldn't grow all the way up through the fence or to the fence so it'd be easier to mow over it which works but i'm thinking i'm gonna go through and cut out four inches of grass and then this bar can sit right up against the pavers And then this one can go under the paver. So that's that's going to be a, a feat all in itself. Now over here, the footer's probably going to sit right there. So it's not going to be on a paver. I mean, I might be able to get one edge of it under this side. But also, we have enough of a gap here to put pavers under the fence. That's kind of why it was it's half dead like this because we had pavers and then I pulled them to use somewhere else. So I'm going to have to go back through and clear this out and put the pavers back under there. And then as far as large predators, they won't be able to get under the fence and they won't be able to get through the fence. So any neighborhood dogs that come in in our yard aren't, aren't going to be able to get in the fence to the chickens. At least that's the hope. I mean, if they can jump, then if they can jump a four-foot fence, then I don't know what to tell you. So that's the plan. I'm not going to sit here and record me digging out grass and sticking pavers under the fence but I'll come back in a few days whenever I get that far and show you what it looks like so I guess for you it'll be just a couple minutes but for me it'll probably be two or three days And then we'll move on to small predator protection. I do think this is going to work a little bit better the way I have this organized. I mean, once the dog's house mo is moved and the chicken house is moved, then our door isn't blocked anymore. And I had my lawnmower in this, my push mower. And I'm going to empty it out and put all my chicken feed and uh, the bedding and all that stuff will just stay in there. And then I don't have to go very far. And then these trash cans go to my can crusher. So once the rock's in there, they can sit like that. I don't know if I'm going to keep both of them over here. But this is my garden shed. All my garden stuff is in there. Not all my stuff. The stuff that's <laughs> outside. So, it's kind of a tidy little walkway now. But I think it's going to work out a lot better in the long run. And then I don't have to mow back there. I don't have to weed. I don't have to step over things. And... The rock actually gives me, like, almost another foot of walkway. 
About that much. Alrighty, so I will bring you back when I get that far. And then we'll see what's next. All right, I got my fence fixed. Brick's going down the whole way. Got more rocks in here. It's getting there. I got all my pavers set down here. back so we decided that it was going to be impossible to get the hardware cloth on here if I put it in place first honestly it was quite the feat getting it on there to this point we had to pull the whole thing out so we could have access to all the four sides and it's not done done yet but if I zoom in you can see I bought these little clips which are a little complicated to get used to but that's how I did my first pull for the door and then we went all the way around zip tied it at the bottom so we had the exact same distance from the bottom on each one and then once we got it stretched, we zip tied it to the top. And I just used the cheap ones that came with it just because I knew we were gonna have to keep cutting them off to get it right and to get it tight. And we started at this corner. So this corner is all zip tied and ready to go. And I still have to work my way around and zip tie these, the rest of them with the metal. But I'm gonna start at this back corner and get the footer in. I have my stakes all ready. I'm going to get the footer in, get it level, get the next one in, get it level, and zip tie them as I go. That way if we have any shifting, it's going to come down. So this side I haven't, I haven't put these clips in there yet because I ended up with, once we pulled it tight, I ended up with more. And I want to make sure if I shift it around, this isn't going to pop off. So I'll show you what I got. I got, it came with the tool to do it. And if you see, it's got these little notches. So the clip goes in the notch. And then this part pulls it tight. I don't think, I think I took the bag of... Yeah, I took the bag in the house, but that's basically how it works. So the kit for the frame came with pre-cut chicken wire, the exact amount that it needs. So obviously we upgraded the bottom from chicken wire to hardware cloth. So we'll have the extra chicken wire. I'll use it somewhere else, but we are going to put the chicken wire on the top. And depending on how it looks when we get it on there, we might even just double up what's on the top. Just trying to make it as secure as possible from the get-go. And I do really love that from a distance, you can just see right through this hardware cloth. I got the black specifically for that. So once we get it all in place and it's not gonna move again, then we'll do the top. Even though I haven't messed with my coops yet, then once I get the door on and it's nice enough outside, we can bring the babies out. They're not even three weeks old yet, so we're not in that much of a rush. But that's my project for today. Getting it level, getting the footers in place. And once I get all that done, I'll go back and keep working on this side. My cat don't know what to think. Hi, baby. She's like, what are you doing? 
This is weird. This is different. She likes to hide under here. So I'm sure once we actually get the doghouse under here, she'll be in the doghouse a lot hiding. Honestly, I thought she was going to be my biggest problem with the chickens that sh because she does hunt and kill birds. But actually, she watched them for the first like two, three days and she was over it. I haven't seen her watching them one time since then. Alright, so that's my project for today. I mean, it's not going to look much different when it's finished, but at least be secure to the ground. All right, I still got a few things to figure out. Mainly how I'm gonna attach these corners to the concrete. But other than that, my bottom is done. And now I'm ready to move on to getting my roof on. And that is gonna be hopefully easier than getting the bottom on. So, I'm gonna get busy and I'll see you on the next one.